percent of 84 is 63. The percent, we don't know it. That's our x, or our y. y percent of means times. 84 is after the of. 63 is after the is. Choice two, we do not have the percent, so that's our y, but we know it's over 100. The is is first, so 63 is our numerator, and the of is 84. So y percent times 84 is equal to 63. We have numbers on both sides of the equation. Divide by 84, divide by 84. Y percent is equal to um, 63 divided by 84. Let's catch up. 84y equals two zeros and 63. Divide by 84, divide by 84. y equals 84 divided to 6,300. This is how our, our, our position looks at this point. All right. 84 divides into 63. It does not. This is too small. So we're going to have to add a decimal point and a zero. The decimal point goes straight up into the answer. 80, 84, you could think of it as 80. So our first number. 6 is too small, 63 is too small, we're going to have to start right there. 8 divides into 6, no, 63, well, 8 times 7 is 56, that's as close as we can get. 7 times 4 is 28, 7 times 8 is 56, 57, 58. Some regrouping, we get a 2 and a 4. We're going to need to add another 0 here because we, we have this decimal number that has to continue. 8 divides into 4, nope, into 42. 8 times 5 is 40, let's try that. 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 8 is 40. 42. There we go. That's perfect. So it's 0.75. So I can eliminate my, de my percent sign by moving this decimal point two places to the right. 75%. 84 divides into 6. No, 63, 630 seven times. We got 28 and 58. Two, four, bring down our next zero. Eight divides into 42 five times. Five times four is 20. Five times eight is 42. There are no decimals in that at all. We can just express this with a percent sign. Our answers are the same. Choice one, choice two. It's up to